how and why I got started in real estate. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Andrea Wilson and I'm a real estate broker here in Cleveland, Ohio. So for the last 16 years, I've had my real estate license, but I wasn't always in real estate. I actually started as a corporate accountant for many, many years working with small to medium sized businesses here in Northeast Ohio. Um, I am a mom of four and a wife. So as I was on my, you know, career journey and working as a corporate accountant, um, it was kind of by default I landed into that position. Coming out of high school, I've always worked into a accounting department. So naturally, I thought that that was the niche or the route that I was supposed to go in. So I obtained my degree, I worked in accounting, worked my way up, and I quickly realized that it wasn't something that I desired to do. Um, I found general accounting to be a bit boring and I'm more of a people person. As I kind of moved along through the journey, having more kids, um, I started to realize that working a nine to five job was not the ideal situation for myself. Um, I wanted to have the flexibility to be able to attend my kids' sporting events or um, just being a mom and being able to be there if they're just sick or anything else, or if there's a program at school and wanting to attend that. I found myself working through managers, typically men at the time, where I was kind of begging for permission to be present as a mom. I've always been a hard worker. I always show up and I always get my work done. So if that meant that I needed to leave a little bit earlier on one particular day, I'm the type of employee that would show up the next day or stay later that next day to make sure that my work was always done. Although I felt personally that that was an ideal trade-off, working for someone else, that is not always their belief or how things were set up, at least not at that time. As we move forward today, there's a lot more flexibility with work from home and because of COVID, um, a lot more employers have become a little bit more understanding, but I think there still is that resistance out there. Um, the more that I kind of went to work each year as a birthday turn, I felt like I was starting to run out of time. Um, time meaning that if I wanted to go down that entrepreneurial route, my time was kind of coming to an end in my, um, if, as part of my thought process. Um, at the age of 18 or 19, I was introduced and given a book. Many of you know that author, his name is Robert Kiyosaki. And I received the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. At that young age, 18, 19, I read that book and all of the information that I learned in that book stuck with me over the years. And so through reading that book, um, it always had me kind of in this mindset about investing in real estate. Now, that book is not specific to real estate, but it started to pop in this idea back then about investing. And so I started to become a little bit obsessive back then with doing research. Actually, one of my favorite people that I used to study quite frequently actually was Donald Trump. He was known in the real estate space of being a kind of real estate mogul. And so I started reading articles and books about Donald Trump and how he built his mass of riches and this empire and how real estate played a part in that. Um, at the time, he was kind of an idol of someone that I wanted to follow in the footsteps. Um, then he used to do these courses. As, as I kind of got into my 20s, he started doing these courses and had Trump University. And I attended those and I learned, began to learn more and more about real estate. In my 20s, I also met my husband. And through conversations with him, we talked about real estate in more in depth. Now he got started, he's, my husband was, is always an entrepreneur. And so um, he got started on the real estate side a little earlier than myself, um, gaining the knowledge around the construction side of the business. 
So finally, I decided that um, we wanted to get into real estate and I decided that I wanted to get my real estate license. For me, it would have served two purposes. Number one, I would have got the education around investing in real estate. I felt that I needed. And number two, it was another source of income stream for me. I could use that as my job as well. So I went out, took the classes that were required in the state of Ohio, sat for the exam, passed the test, and went to work the next day and quit my job. Now, I definitely don't recommend anyone doing that, quitting their job right away without having a clear course or path to that next paycheck um, in the very near future. Um, so um, kind of building from that, it wasn't an easy path um, by any means. And the biggest thing is I didn't have a mentor to really give the guidance. Sure, I have books that I have read or access to information, but I really didn't have the, the mentorship that was needed to, or for me and my husband, to avoid some of the um, roadblocks and um, trouble we ran into along our path. So we really had done everything on our own. Learn took took a lot of bumps and bruises along the way and learned on it, improved the processes and moving forward. Um, so for the last 16 years now, I've had my real estate license. Um, I've operated as a real estate investor. I've helped other people build their real estate empire through investments, help create homeowners, um, and just kind of with the education around the importance of owning real estate and how to leverage that real estate to build generational wealth for their families. Um, I operate as a property manager. Um, and now we also do funding, funding for real estate deals. From what I've learned and worked with many folks who want to get started investing, Access to capital has been a big hindrance, also personal credit, and then it's going to be that education piece of it. So um, we just started with a new master class this year where we help people um, kind of give them the guidance that they need in order to start investing in real estate. The biggest thing is making sure that you have access to the information and never neglecting or forgetting about that personal credit. There's a lot of information out there that says that you don't need personal credit or you don't need any money to invest. There are certainly ways that you can kind of tap into the real estate market without personal credit being on par or access to capital. But it's so much harder and it's kind of like finding a needle in the haystack types of opportunities. The opportunities do exist. It may, it, they're not plentiful, but there are opportunities. But as a real estate investor, we want to be have access and look at all opportunities. So while we might use that strategy as a way to grow our real estate portfolio, we also want to leverage our personal credit, business credit, private funding, 401ks, um, FHA loan, conventional loans to also grow our empire. It's kind of hard to understand like, well, why would I need access to all of that? Well, our dollars only stretch so far. So, and, and sometimes there may be overlapping ventures or opportunities that if we have money and resources tied up under one stream, we might need another stream to be up and operating for us while we close out another um, transaction. So you're always going to need to be able to um, access capital. The other thing with it, with your personal credit, why it's important is because while we might not use the personal credit where something's actually showing up on your credit report, we have to leverage that score in order to move a little quicker on the business side of that. One of the things that real estate has done for myself and my family has created some um, financial freedom for us. It has allowed me to have the flexibility to be able to raise my kids, take my kids on vacations, pay for sporting events and different things like that. 
I talk to so many people on a daily basis who are struggling just with the basic things, cell phones getting cut off, can't pay the mortgage, car being repossessed. And there's truly a way that you can generate and create some passive income. Working your nine to five is great for some people, although I found that it did not work for me. I do understand that there's a lot of people out there that absolutely love their full-time job and that's okay but they also find themselves running short on their monthly or their weekly paycheck and so real estate can be a way for you to kind of offset that and generate some additional income so that was my journey um, i am still on this journey of real estate my husband and I continue to invest in real estate. We will always invest in real estate in some capacity, um, whether it's owning more rental properties, developing new construction homes, um, working and having Airbnbs or vacation homes. We'll always work in that capacity because we understand that most millionaires and billionaires, that's how they are able to grow um, at a much rapid pace through real estate. If you want more information about real estate, I would be happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, you can always reach out to me. Uh, I am a real estate broker here in Cleveland, Ohio, and hopefully I get to work with you in the future. Have a good day, guys.